Hi, my name is Elizabeth Faulkner. I'm the executive chef of Corvo Bianco, and I am having fun with holiday baking today with Pillsbury crescent rolls and all kinds of fun stuff. This thing is gonna be kind of like a panini, but really a waffle, and it could be filled with anything. I'm gonna do bacon and cheese and pour some buttered maple syrup on top. This is the crescent dough. It comes in little uh, perforated triangles so you can make little crescent rolls, but I'm just like, well, to me it's a block of dough right now. So I'm gonna cut off some big chunks of the dough. So I've got six pieces here. And then I'm just gonna press these into little discs with my palm. You could use a rolling pin if you want to. It's actually really delicious. It's a really fun way to rethink the waffle. I've got some bacon that I already rendered half of the fat out. So it's not really crispy, but it's just a nice um, cooked texture right now. And I'm gonna mash a bunch of these to the dough itself. I want this to be really cheesy too and just kind of gooing out of it. So I'm gonna put some fontina cheese, which I love, but you could use Gruyere or cheddar. I'm putting about five or six pieces inside of this. I'm also gonna put some Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna press this on the bottom side. So that's gonna get a little more caramelized on my waffle iron and give it that, that crunchy kind of Parmesan baked cheese flavor that I think we all like a lot. So then you just press the sandwich together here. I'm gonna heat up a waffle iron over here. This is a, a stovetop version, but you can use any kind of waffle iron. And then basically I'm just gonna throw these into the waffle iron. I took some maple syrup and I added bourbon to it. And then I'm adding a little butter here, so I'm just gonna make all the butter and syrup together hot, pour it over the finished waffle. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm just gonna heat this up. Okay, this looks good. I'm gonna take these off. And you can smell all the bacon. Some of it's kind of cooked a little bit more on the waffle iron itself. All right, so I made three waffles here. I'm gonna take one for myself. Buttered maple syrup on top. I'm just gonna pour some on top here. I get my butter and my maple syrup all together. Finish it with a little powdered sugar. This is so easy and so perfect for the holiday mornings. It's very comforting. I mean, what's not to like about it? It's got bacon and cheese in it, and then it's just drenched in maple syrup. Mm. Bacon and cheese waffles made with Pillsbury Crescent dough. Perfect for the holidays.